This is a thousand and thirty five and it's part twenty six of this tour. The previous video I said was part thirty four but about that. It's, it's part twenty five for that previous video. This is part twenty six of the tour. Which is video a thousand and thirty six. So here's my hobbyos tower. Here's my bucket. And this bucket, I bought this bucket at Daiso Japan. It's a really cool bucket. And I got this other bucket. I got it at the same location. These bouncy balls are from the laundry. We'll get to that tomorrow. And this used to be a sticker here, but they took it out. Next, we're gonna move on to. This is a hobbyist track piece that I had a long, long, long time ago. And it's bent, so that's why the cars can get through there. And if you take a look at my hobbyist tower, you can see this is broken because... Let's pull this out. Okay, this is broken, and if you look here... There's a broken part, and I think I found the broken part. I'm not sure where it is. I lost it somehow. And this is like the piece of cardboard, like where the where the turner goes. And this is the bottom of it, and this is like the like the bottom of the how you thing. It already worn out. It has a wearing out, wearing out already, so I have to use a, a, a turner. But I'm going to end up getting rid of the ramp that's right here. We have a, um, oh, there's more privacy. I use my how use uh, toy to block it. So, this is a, um, track piece that I got from, uh, I don't remember what set this how your shot piece came, but let's take a look. But I can't take it out because it's really stuck in here, but I got this one a long time ago, and this monster thing it has a little lever here. And this is like the bottom of it. Like this, this connection is not the same connection as this track piece, and I'll make a video of getting rid of this part. And here's a sink cover. This goes on here. This goes on here like this, and I, as you can see, uh, and as you could see, I added plastic to it. I, put, I just forgot to show it in the videos from the past, and then. Added, I added tape here so no one opens this because what if it has water in it? So it doesn't seal very good because the cap is too big already, like the hole. And also, I added tape right there and another and, and another cap bottle just so that the water won't go. I mean, just so that marbles or any other items won't go in through here, because it's going to be very hard to get that out. To get that out. And I also added three push pins to hold this gallon secure. And the wall did peel off here with this strong tape that holds my ramp. I just forgot to show this, but I already peeled off. Oh, shoot. It's already peeling off. You can see it's not that bad, but I just wanted to peel off. So, if you use strong tape like this kind of tape, and you don't want your wall to peel off, you can just re remove some of the ad adhesive, or just put a piece of cardboard, like where the peel off part is. Anyways, this is the sink. Added a, I added a piece of water bottle to it, so. If it leaks just a tiny bit, all the water can go down to it. And also, I added, 
I added supports to the sink to prevent it from collapsing. And this pipe is not original, so it, it leaked from here, across here, and it came out through here. And I was gonna add a support to it, like to re reinforce it, but it's pretty strong still. The hole was really small, small smaller than my pinky. Right, next we have oh shoot the time's about to run out my camera's about to stop in any second so next my so we have this more how your track piece is I, i'm not sure where i got this one but i use this one to connect it to this how your track piece and let's see here this is the monster part and 